Aluiha, who spoke to reporters at the summit. So in other words, man, all these other nations are frowning upon America doing this thing, man. Nobody's with this, man. These other nations, India, China, Russia, they're all against this thing, man. They all they 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 are um, reprimanding the United States for doing this, man. But they're gonna do it any damn way. Why? Because the elites want that. Isaiah 47 and 3 Thy nakedness shall be uncovered Yea, thy shame shall be seen All this wickedness by them trying to go in there Because all these other nations They know that what the United States is doing is unjust So now all these other nations Even though they're wicked as hell they damn self But they, they, they say America's real wicked The lies and, and the shit they're trying to uh, uh, Pull off on everybody, man uh, South African President Jacob Zuma Slammed the idea of a military intervention in Syria on the eve of the summit, saying that one cannot remain silent when one country is being bombed to ashes before our eyes. That's right. That's their nakedness being lifted up, men in America, all the wickedness of America, all the other nations in the world summit is seeing this, and they're saying America, though. That's just a wicked ass goddamn country, man. And even in that movie, The Butler, uh, the guy Whitaker played, he said, Yeah, America, that's the country that likes to point out their finger at everybody else. And says they're the ones that's doing wrong, but really, all that wickedness is going on right in their backyard. That's America, man. Zuma stressed that the UN's or that the UN is the only authority that can intervene military in any country. In a speech earlier this week, we don't want the world to be run by individuals, but a collective in the form of the UN. I don't know if people. <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if people who are questioning our position on Syria have an al al alternative, Zuma said. Uh, President Putin on Friday quoted his South African counterpart as saying that the world's smaller countries feel increasingly vulnerable and insecure. Right, because they, these other countries are seeing if America can do this to Syria, they can do it to their country. You know, well, what's, what's to stop America from doing it to their country? So increasingly, America is becoming the big bully on the block, which everybody wants to, wants to kick his ass, you know? And eventually, the big bully on the block, he gets his ass kicked anyway. He gets humbled. He gets humbled. Eventually, the big bully, the bully always gets humbled, man. Well, America is going to get humbled right, of, right out of existence. <laughs> uh, yeah, you Edomites, you so-called white people, when y'all in slavery, that's going to be the ultimate humbling, man. When we got y'all in slavery. Because all you Edomites over here, you American Edomites, y'all all, all going to die in the missiles. Ain't none of y'all going to make it out of here. Just the elites. But the elites don't even live here. The so-called elites, I'm sorry. They don't live here. They don't live in America. And if there are some here, they're going to get that. They're going to escape. Scriptures tell you they're going to escape. But they're going to get in slavery. The ones of you American Edomites, y'all going to die in the missiles. Y'all going to go back to the spirit world. And when you are reincarnated through the one Edomites that make it, y'all going to, that's how y'all going to get in slavery. But we're going to get you nonetheless. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 47 and 10. For so eventually, America, you Americans are going to be in slavery for that thousand years. So that you're going to be humbled, man. In s that, that's why the Lord said we got to have y'all in slavery. Because that's, that's, that, that's a humbling process, man, for Esau, man. Because this is going to be a long thousand years, and we're going to be kicking your ass, man, and... and, and Really giving it to you, man. Like a, a case in point, this thing with Zimmerman, right? Now, ever since he got acquitted, which Jake knows that he 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 should have been found guilty, um, that's called uh, poetic justice, uh, because his wife is divorcing him now. He got a couple of tickets within the last uh, three or four months or two months. All right. He got a speeding ticket. Then he got another ticket from somebody else. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, his wife decides to divorce him. So his world is crumbling down, man. And that and that goes with hand in hand with America. America's world is crumbling down. Give me a uh, real quick. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jeremiah 50 verse nine and ten. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's the spirit, man. Je Jeremiah chapter 50 verse nine. It says, For I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, 
and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. The arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. In Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. That's right, Chaldea. Right, that represents America today. Verse 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer, at grass and bellow as bulls, your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Be that represents uh, Great Britain, because America came was birthed out of uh, Great Britain, or England. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Oh, and the poor woman says she have grown fed. The uh, America, the so-called white man, y'all stole everything. Y'all stole the resources of uh, all the other countries. You stole this land away from uh, the tribes of Gad and Reuben. Okay, y'all stole every damn thing. Y'all stole all the gold and got all the gold. It's not even in the Federal Reserve. Brother, ain't no gold in Fort Knox, man. The so-called elites got all that gold, man, that, that they've been acquiring for all these hundreds of years. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Speaking about America, meaning this whole, this bitch of a country, America's going to be destroyed, man. And all these other nations, they, which they're turning on America right now. Some of these nations were once in, in good standards with the United States. All right, but now they pretty much, they, they all despise America, man. And, and that's the scripture that proves that this country is not going to be inhabited, man. I Meaning after the missiles drop, this place is going to be one big fucking desert, man. And you know what? I'm glad, man, that the Most High is going to do that, man, because, man, I ain't going to want to be here. After all this <laughs> hell that we just caught here, man, this first of all, but it's polluted with the blood of the saints, the Israelites that were killed here, the Negroes and Native Americans and the other tribes that Esau, the so-called white man, had been murdering here, tell you that. Yeah, because our attitude, your attitude is not, give me uh, Second Peter's uh, 3, verse 10 on down. Our attitude is not to love white people, all right? You know where I'm getting at. You know, yeah. the famous uh, Israelite by the name of Degenerate Yohanna said we don't hate white people, but God hate white people. He don't want it, he don't want America to be destroyed, man. He don't want the kingdom to come. That dude might be dating, man. Yeah, that dude, we're going to start calling you Dayton, man. You Dayton, man. And, 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 and Nate might be uh, a ba Abby Ram and uh, and uh, what the uh, uh, Bubble Eye might be... Uh, Corey, all right? <laughs> that might be y'all, man. You know? You, uh, anyway, we finished with that. Uh, I want you to get me right quick, uh, Job uh, 15, verses 20, and 20 to 21, or 20 and 21. And this is more uh, heat, you know, for you, you devils. That's right, man. Job 15 and 20. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful right, the number of years is hidden to the oppressor, meaning you don't know when your, your time is up. And the handwriting is already on the wall, but you dummies can't see it, man. Go ahead. A dreadful sound is in, the, in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come up upon him. Right, in his prosperity, the destroyer shall come up upon you. Who is the destroyer? The Most High. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's his name. So all you bird brains that said, "Well, we don't even know if that's the Most High's real name." Yahweh by show me how Shai gonna destroy all of you, man. And that goes for you, Methuselah, uh, and uh, uh, Mash Mashaba, and uh, 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 Kawakab. Okay, and the rest of you guys, man, and Nate, cause Nate, you're full of pride, man. All right, uh, Yah Yahana, Bubble Eyes. He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. Waited for of the sword. The sword is talking about the, the, the missiles, the ICBMs.